I am Dr. Shankar Narayan going to discuss about electrochemistry. So here we discussing the what are the different concepts are uh, uh, covered in the electrochemistry. So we already discussed galvanic cells, okay, that oxidation reduction in the zinc and copper electrodes, how the power is producing and what is primary cells and what is secondary cells. Okay, what is the difference between primary and secondary cells? These are the concepts we have discussed. And now we are going for dry cells. It's a dry cell is a, is a type of electric battery commonly used for portable electrical devices. Unlike wet cell batteries, which have liquid electrolyte, dry cell use an electrolyte in the form of paste are the less susceptible of leakage. You can see the Leclange cells, okay, that is a dry cell form of battery. It's a electrolytes become the paste form. Okay, the dry cell was developed in 1886 by a German scientist Karl Gassner after the development of it, wet zinc carbon batteries by George Leclange in 1866. The Leclange cell I have we discussed already. The Leclange cell is the first cell. They prepared with uh, zinc and uh, zinc and ammonium chloride and uh, wooden things and uh, carbon that they have used for the battery making purpose. A yeah, type of dry cell was also developed by Japanese inventor Sakiwai in 1987. But the zinc carbon batteries by George Leclanges. Okay, the Germany file of 1812, a high voltage dry battery but capable of delivering only minutes currents. Okay, lot of development happened in the batteries. Okay, so that uh, Germany file, they prepared the they, they invented battery but the power supply was only one minute. Later, that Carlos Gaston obtained German pattern variant uh, variant of the Leclange cells, where it's a dry battery. Okay, later it's known as dry cells because of it is not having any free liquid electrode. We already discussed it's like paste form. Okay, November 1887, he obtained US pattern for the same device because every place they has to make the patent. Okay. Each country they have to make the pattern for that. The inventor was Saki Oyai and did not get uh, enough money to file the pattern, the Japanese scientist. But anyhow, they prepared the, uh, he is the first pattern holder in the battery. Uh, Japan was, battery in Japan was not high, but Taksai is broke. Wilhelm Elson also invented dry battery in 87. He obtained US uh, in 1987 and obtained US pattern in 1890. Almost they spent three years to get the pattern battery. Gasner dry cell more solid does not require maintenance, does not spill, and can be used in any orientation. Provide potential about 1.5. 5 volts. So the first mass producer model was Columbia Diesel, first marketed by National Carbon Company in 1896. The NCC improved, what is mean NCC, the National Carbon Company improved the gas model, replacing the plaster of Paris with, co with coiled cardboard and invented the leaves more space for the cathode and makes dye battery easier to assemble. It was the first convenient battery for the masses and made portable electrical device practical gas in German scientists. We already discussed the zinc cell as it came to know is still manufacturing today because the Leclange dry cell but we are regularly we are using it. Okay, everybody knows that everyday cells and lot of uh, batteries are making with zinc carbon cells. So it's uh, commercially available. Uh, still, we are using a uh, lot of things for a lot of purposes instead of lithium-ion battery. It will be, uh, it will, I think, 
that Lacrange cell is replaced by lithium ion batteries that is zinc carbon cell but it's a replaceable but it's not uh, making that much uh, pollution but even though it's uh, making some level okay so everybody using zinc carbon dry cells Thank you.